Is it me or is it getting darker around here right now? Eh, they do still the day-night cycle, so I guess I shouldn't be that freaked out. I just feel like so much time has passed after I got yelled to be raided by these freaking cultist weirdos. Yes, I know! I know! I'm gonna remember up to four moves that time! <laughs> I can't wait so they can just remember whatever moves they want whenever they want. On round two, many trainers train their Pokemon by having them battle. I mean, yep. I figured we're getting into the trainer battle sooner or later. Thanks for telling me things I already knew. Big Pokemon, strong Pokemon, cool Pokemon, cute Pokemon. Many people, Pokemon, look forward to meeting you. Too bad we don't have any contests. Actually, thank God we don't have any more contests. Oh, I hated those. Wow, you have that great bag that can store anything. Why don't you buy a lot of potions to put them in your bag? No, thank you. I'd rather not have potions in particular. The Wawalk, what do we got today? The ability to download. Oh, a download can't take advantage of its po weak can take advantage of its opponent's weaknesses. Both defense is lower than the special defense of Pokemon's attack will be boosted. The special defense is lower than the defense of Pokemon's special attack will be boosted. It doesn't have ability like that. Concentrate on the enemy's weakness. Yes. I know what hurts them the most. Someone attacked it with that full force. Jeez. That'd be a dick thing to do, honestly. That's what happens. You lower their personalities like that. I give the benefit of my experience. You listen to The number one you can take with you at one time is six. I knew that old man. Don't even tell me these things. Everybody knows. They might do everything in their power for people. He won't treat these people with love and affection. That's what I think our mutual relationship is. Yeah. We take care of them. We feed them, damn it. We're like our pets in a way. Uh, some people will never understand. Anyway, welcome back to Rage 4. Let's play Pokemon White Version. This is your host, the MJ406. Hi, hi! Let's play Pokemon Rock, Paper, Scissors! He goes, Pokemon Rock, Paper, Scissors! I'm gonna go with. Fire. Eat fire. Grass! Your Pokemon is fire type, mine is grass type. Grass type is weak against fire type. That's why I lose. Damn right it is. I see, so we can do it this way. Are you just gonna keep saying grass? I guess it makes sense. I'll go grass then. Fire! A ball is grass type, is fire type. Grass type is weak against fire type, so I win! Ha ha! Eat your face! I'm just trying to learn how this works, okay? Oh no, not again! Fire type is weak against grass type, so I win! No! You bitch! Why'd you do this to me? No! I lost three times in a row, I can't! I can't even look her in the eye anymore. She beat me three times in a row. Yeah, so chain with those three. Come on. This ball I got in the past. I'm gonna give it to you. Thanks? One Pokeball, bro? You can't catch a Pokeball. You know the Pokeball. There are many types of Pokeball, so use the best one for the job. No, I can't yet. Great, great. Okay, leave me alone, bro. Man, last time we had to run some cultists, and now we're just gonna treat our journey like nothing happened. The hero leads the world, but is going to come and help the hero. And when you over, you know it's not a legend. Huh. All right, whatever weird legend that is, your mom tells some stupid stories. Well, be strong, you train them. Even they're weak now. Love is what? Important. Yeah, yeah, of course it is. If you're strong, you can move forward. If you move forward, you'll be stronger. That's the cool thing about journeys. It just happens to coincide. Both of them grow stronger together. It's a never-ending loop. That just sounds way too convenient, honestly. I love, I love being able to run fast. Running super slowly is just hurting me right now. Back in the end, trainer. This is a game for travelers. He's just the electric, the electric bulletin board. We have a bulletin board? Dryad City is nestled in the forest. And the breeze smells like trees. Oh no, is this the happening? Stairs of the entrance help with heavy snow. Oh, good to know if we actually have snow. Dryad Gym is a restaurant. Where meals are served. And so are battles. Find the information to the electric bulletin board. Makes me happy. I find it so soothing. The shopping area in the entire Unimal region. There's nothing you can't buy. Yeah, yeah. Shopping mall near 9. Whatever. Trash cans empty. October 1st, 2023. What? It's also sunny. Route 2, Strider City, and Cuba Town. Oh, nice weather we have. Yeah, we've also got weather conditions as well. It changes in certain places. They're very dynamic, some of this. Like, for real. Alright, what? Who's caught with the prostrate seer already? I just got here. Bro? What the? It's your mom. How are things? Are you and your papa getting along enjoying your journey so far? I need to talk to you, so I called. But I'm going to hang up the, the prostrate seer now. Oh. She needs to- Ah! Bro? Why are you calling me? You were right there! I finally caught up with you. Look how far you've come already. 
Professor Juniper said you were probably headed for Sprite and City by now. I have another present for you. Bro, try these on. Oh, jeez. You gave me shoes? Oh, thank you, Mom. Good, I've been wearing these rags for years. When you're wearing the running shoes, you can go anywhere in a flash. I'm reading the instructions. Well, the people run faster than normal. Put on the running shoes and tear around your heart's content. That's what it says. I bought these a long time ago and stashed them away somewhere. I found them when I was cleaning up. Because it's good to clean occasionally. Like you probably should, lazy American. Bro, you understand you're never really alone, right? You're with Pokemon, you have friends, and you're always in my thoughts. That's all right, then. Enjoy your trip. Too bad you guys will never save my money anymore. Oh, well. It's a big bowler. Post Pokemon might be able to post it aside. That's great. But yep, now we can finally run. Oh, it's marvelous. So, we can finally begin. Bowser be Pokemon trees from series of areas you can run from. Oh, yeah. You can run from, you can run from regular Pokemon encounters. I got a potion! If you can't run away from a trader encounter. Because that's just not cool of you. Oh, no! I couldn't get away from him! Son of a bitch! What's up, dude? What do you want? Tree kids in the tree's eye! That is the start of a Pokemon battle! You gave me the side eye! I saw it! I saw it! Yeah, I bet I did. Fine, youngster Jimmy. Jeez, I mean, it really looked like a punk. As an American, I feel offended they made him so punky. Don't worry about it. Jeez, our levels are surprisingly high. I, I would have expected it anyway. But well, it's finally time to get going with the classic battle tradition. Walk into somebody's eyesight, you gotta battle them. It ain't like Scarlet and Violet, where you can just battle whoever you want, whenever you want, for the most part, go your own way, for the most part. Man, you know, do people have a really, really bad opinion of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? I understand why some people would, because it feels like an unpolished mess. Even still, it feels like it could be optimized more. Odor Slew, that's helpful. But, well, we got what we got because Game Freak doesn't get enough time. What? You're too strong! I can probably talk about my thoughts about that game since we're just going on the road battling trainers at this point. Right, dude? I'm going to tell Grass that battles want Pokemon. But before that, I just my the Pokemon Center to heal up my team. As you probably should. Hey, you. I'm just something amazing. Want to watch? Sure. Okay, wait one second. Woo! Wow. Hey, are you watching? You think you're sure going to jump out lunch? It's amazing, eh? Hey, wait! Wait! Come back! Nope. You might not have enough energy to fight, just walk on the road. But we'll only appear in the tall grass, obviously. For your tips. Or right, participate battle, receive experience points. I'll have your Pokemon battle off to make them stronger and stronger. Well, this is the only one I want to make stronger right now. I really love Pokemon battles, because my cute ball will do its best in a really cute way. I'm sure it would. It better not be a pack rat, I swear to God. I'll always be embarrassed for you, last Molly. Mally, whatever your name is. Oh, Pearloin. Okay, that at least is sensible for a Pokemon that's cute. It's at least something. But yeah, you know, Pokemon Scarlet Violet, I really did like. I mean, I don't know if I like it as much as Gen 2 or 5, but it might be my third favorite. Performance problems and all. Like, yeah. We knew from friggin', you know, Pokemon Gen 7 and Gen 8 that Gen 9 Scarlet Violet were probably gonna be problems. And they were. So. Ah, did you not stop the music so you could growl at me? That wasn't cool. I just, you know... Oh, the performance problems really mar what could have been an amazing step in the right direction for Pokemon. Man, those performance problems are really, really bad. I lost my Pokemon. I'm still cute! That's what you want to think. Too bad you're incredibly wrong. I think I keep Pokemon even stronger. I have lots of battles and trainers. All right. Can you stop believing what we're saying? Thanks! Nope. Not gonna stop doing that. I wanna be able to beat up some more Pokemon. I was hoping to find another encounter, but you know what? This is fine, I guess. I guess I'll at least burn you while I'm here. But yeah, the fact that Scarlet Violet actually gave us the ability to freaking free roam was wonderful. Unfortunately, I don't have an opinion on the DLC yet, because number one, I haven't gone back to the game in a while, so I haven't gotten a look at it. Number two, I haven't even bought it yet. I didn't even go to the DLC in Sword and Shield. Which I should probably consider getting. I could think about it. But either way. Oh, well, somewhere there's gonna be an invisible item here or something. Oh, this is the game where the invisible item radar gets really good once we get it. But yeah. There we go, Purloin! Oh, five! Ooh! Making it worth my while as long as I don't die, of course. Or faint, excuse me. Faint is the word I wanted to use. Perfect! 
Ow! Jerk. But yeah, I will say it was definitely set in the right direction. Now we give, give us a choice to go on multiple paths to basically, you know... I mean, you basically have to do everything to get to the end of the game, but still, you can basically go your own way to try to, you know, do things whatever order you wanted. There was, like, kind of a set order, but at the same time, you didn't have to follow along with it, which is great. We were, me and my friends were hoping we'd have, like, an open-world Pokemon game. It makes sense, that series. Here's Pearl and the dangerous Pokemon. It's cute acts as a root. When victims let down their guard, they find their items taken. It attacks with sharp claws. So it's a thief is what you're saying. Cool. A cat thief. Those sneaky little vixens. I should have seen that coming. Oh, well. Level 7 Pat Rat! God damn! Don't catch it. You already have two of this Pokemon. Don't bother catching a third. Wow. They're raising the levels really fast. Ha <laughs> ha! You got burned, bitch! Ow! It makes it somewhat tempting to catch you, but not tempting enough to actually make me want to catch you. Only somewhat tempting. Because remember, the bird's nest condition will make it so your regular attack power goes down, and you take damage over time, like 1 16th of your max HP. Fun stuff. So, bro, look what I did. Give me why do you think you're gonna jump out amazing, eh? You just can't climb back up, though. Why is it totally on sooner? I didn't know that! Come on, man! I need to go heal him. I don't plan on trading any of these fuckers. I was gonna trade my freaking pig and leave it at that. My beautiful barbecue. And what hell of a barbecue? It'll turn everybody else into one. Man, bacon would be better. Go, bacon! Yeah, once we get to the name brand, I'm definitely changing it to bacon. I like it better, personally. Oh, I should probably store the weaker pat rat. I think he's just wasting my space. But I should probably just show that off now. We have Pokemon storage system. Oh, your party may be storing the storage system's boxes. Well, I can always get rid of my Pokemon if I so wish. So, level two pat rat. Get the hell in there. We have 16, we have eight boxes. I think it'll expand to 16 once I fill up those eight boxes. That's usually how it works. Well, good. I have everybody with me now. At least one of everything I've met so far in the wild. Let's go! But yeah, I did like the free flowing nature of it. It was a nice, fresh take. I'm glad the Pokemon series decided to do. It basically took the whole wild area idea and expanded it tremendously. And that was what made it good, honestly. I thought it was wonderful for that. Like, yeah. It, only for a series like Pokemon where you're meant to go on a journey and basically battle a bunch of Pokemon, Hey, building a road on your own path is what makes sense. I like overworld games where you do have, like, a set goal. That's the thing. I don't like overworld games where they just tell you to go around and you can do whatever. I mean, I guess it's nice if you're into that sort of free-roaming thing. You don't really care about, you know, having a goal to go for, but... Personally, I'm the kind of person who likes a game that's, you know, driven by a goal. And not being able to have a goal just kind of ruins the whole purpose of the game for me, personally. So, you know, having multiple kind of tasks you do at your own pace in Pokemon, Scarlet and Violet, made it exciting for me. I definitely liked it a lot. It's just, you know, the obvious elephant in the room that everybody has talked about it ever since its release is that the performance was absolute shit. Which, you know, everybody still agrees, because... It's kind of hard to say it's absolute, an absolutely amazing fun time when you can't really enjoy it the way it was meant to be enjoyed. Full efficiency. I'll just say this right now. I would not completely blame Game Freak because, because of the way Pokemon Company paces them with how fast they gotta make their games, there's only so much they can do. You know? They can only actually do so much with how little time they're given to get a game out every, like, two or three years. Where the actual game development time for these may actually be, like, a little over a year. Like, don't forget, there were more than Legends Arceus, and then they had to have Scarlet Violet come out the same freaking year. Like, man. That was a lot to put on them. The Legends Arceus definitely felt like a passion project, and I'm glad to see that some of the, you know, ideas from Legends Arceus got thrown into Scarlet Violet as well. Such as being able to swap all your Pokemon on the fly in a box, and, you know, eh, the whole free-roaming nature of it. 
I kind of wish you could catch Pokemon without having to battle them, but, you know, those old Legends of Arceus made really fun, the whole stealth element. Lillipup, Lillipup, my Lillipup, go! Cool, Lillipup, let's go. May as well battle whatever Lillipup you have. I'm sure it's not that strong. It's probably level 7, like everything else around here. At least, at least the wild Pokemon aren't stronger than this, or a lot weaker than this. Yeah. By the way, I'm not intending on trading any of the other Pokemon I have with me. There is going to be noble sacrifices if I need them. <laughs> Although, there's Pokemon that will be useful to me, I will try to trade it, but none of these Pokemon are useful for me. They're all weak as fuck. Oh, Lillipop's Final Evolution is actually pretty good. Well, it uses those kinds of moves? It's a fire type, bro. Look how starters work. New trainers use different kinds of Pokemon. It's fun to see, isn't it? Yeah, you would think so. Truth like it could be cut down. Yeah, I bet it could be. Boy, it really could. Route 2! Oh my god, I didn't know it was Route 2. How would I have ever known that we were actually on this route if I did not see that sign? I've got a potion! I'm a big fan of Legend of Zelda, you see. I've got a Pokeball! You're supposed to release both hands in the air if you're doing it that way. Shit, you're right! My fandom might be blowing this whole time! No! Take that. Now be disappointing yourself forever. But... Yeah! I kind of hope later Pokemon games do go in that direction. Because... It's a fresh change of pace. It makes more sense in the series. Like, the whole linear nature that the older Pokemon games had kind of... I don't know. An RPG kind of makes more sense when it's a little more open. It makes sense you still have to go around and complete sets of goals, but... You know. Just... Being set on a linear path doesn't make for the greatest game progression. Oh! Hi, bro! Makes me feel like it's too expected. Which is definitely a problem with this game for some people. Oh, sorry, Bianca, I was trying to ignore you. Hey, listen, let's have a Pokemon battle! Already? Please? The I got to become a little stronger. When you're not, here I come! Well, at least your rivals will give you frequent battles with them. I do like that about this game. It's very focused on the battle, which, honestly, with the contest of the previous few generations, I'm kind of glad they towed down some of the extra crap. They streamlined things a little more. Oh, I call it Little Pup. Wasn't that nice? And because you have two rivals, at least we battle both of them frequently, instead of like the previous two generations where he acted like you had two rivals, and then only one of them actually did something. Hey, is it right to call, um, what's her face, um, Dawn, or Gender Swap? Okay, this little is up next! Not fair to call them a rivals, they really weren't. You really only had one from Gen 4, either way. Ah, oh, man, you have no idea how to deal with Pokemon weaknesses. Poor Bianca. Uh-oh, am I in trouble? And they do that thing they did before in the previous game where... The previous generation... Oh, come on! Wow, how long is it? It's HP. Hey, it is level 7. I guess I should have expected that, even still. Bird! Bird! But hey, it's nice to have actually two rivals that are really competitive with you. Oh, I could win. No shit! Also, that experience you gave me was weak as hell. It was nothing. Woohoo! You are a tough cookie, bro. I'm gonna work hard on tra training my Pokemon so we won't lose anymore. Okay, bye bye. That was it. All right, fine. And that's where you're gonna be. On a Strident City. Five H where the first gym is. Oh, trainer. If you have enough Pokeballs, don't be shy to use with you. Ooh, a great ball. Let's gonna complain. We actually gave you something great, huh? You can not have too many Pokeballs. My advice is that when you use better Pokeballs, it's easier to get Pokemon. So you realize you get greater balls, eh? Good. First been very comparable, but he cannot beat me in battle. Wow, so you say. Forget my rage and my weapons are broken by battles. I cannot defeat her. You learned to many times. She must be cheating. Yeah. Look at you as a pseudo legendary. A what? Don't say that. You're brilliant, good games. When we give Pokemon Nicky, we grow attached to you. Yeah, I guess so. Barbecue. We're about to have Pokemon battles. Oh god, who's trying to write his voice now? Hi, Bradley Trainer. Your family must be talking about you right now. It's only my mom. She's single, apparently. It's time for today's personality assessment and horoscope. Pa, for short. So, what's today's star sign? Dr. Astropoff, if you please. If you were born in January, your sign is Sauce Book. You can be described as an honest and serious person. I mean, you're f yeah, you would never betray your friends. Try to be a big hard person, all will be well. What's the lucky eye for a Snowbuck sign? Well, they're a white flute. 
Here is open for all the bees around you. Thank you very much. See you next time. Hey, hey, is everyone explosively geeky today? Kokuto, coming at you. Oh, Japanese talk, okay. Today's some single phrase and communication is. Let me see your Pokédex. Traders are always interested in other traders' Pokédex. That is what you say in that situation. Pokémon Zukan me sete! Pokémon Zukan me sete! Now you get to have a person who speaks Japanese show you their Pokédex. Yeah, that. Alright! Oreyamashi Z! Okay, have a great day! My TV! Mina! I do not want to learn this stupid cheek language. Dude, come on! Don't be racist! Good! I know this is based in America, but please don't push the stereotypes, man! Come on! Making everybody look bad. Alright, I'm surprised. My Pokemon Ball could change his appearance! Yeah, that evolution can happen. Some Ball and some don't. But really are mysterious creatures? I bet they are. Can't go upstairs now! Because Fennel said she was testing something. She had a scary look on her face. Oh. Excuse me, Fennel! Oh! God forbid I get involved with that. Are you looking for the gym leader? He is not in here. He can be in the trader school. You want to challenge him? Please go find him. What? The trader school is not far from this gym. You may have to go on a tutorial before I can find him. That's some shit. I do study the trader school house, beginner. I guess I should go there, huh? Move type and a move type are the same. Move's power, power of Greece. The gym leader told me. Yep, same type of attack bonus. Also known as STAMP. Try and say gym leader. No matter all my challenges, you only use a Pokemon that I don't like. Huh. That is weird. Trainer school. Brush up on Pokemon knowledge. That sounds like fun. At the start of an old factory, at a place we call the Dream Yard, there's an unusual Pokemon that can make dreams appear. Huh. That is strange. Um, why are there we get fast type moves? I know more stuff. Do you really know? Fire type Pokemon are weak against water type moves. I know more stuff. Go over the whole chain. Thanks. Yeah, they go through a tutorial of this really hard at the beginning of the game, but fortunately. The GTS, it links the world from the second floor of Pokemon Center. We'll name the GTS as the Global Train Station. Yes, be able to train around the world and they're doing since Gen 4. They're finding more of this game, thankfully. You tell us about gym strong trainers are by the number of gym badges they have. If you're a trainer, you should collect gym leaders and challenge gym leaders and collect a lot of badges. <laughs> collect the gym leaders. That just sounds stupid. Lately, I have a favorite model. Her name is Elisa, and her Pokemon is strong too. Oh, she's a model? I aye, aye. aye. I've trained only fire type Pokemon, because they are my favorites. But they have no chance of battle against water type Pokemon. Oh, me try to train Pokemon on other types. But I do love my Charizard. Wait, what's a Charizard? I have no idea what that is. It's quite hard to train six Pokemon at once. But there's a trainer's one to train three Pokemon at a time. Not a bad move, honestly. Meanwhile, I'm training one at a time. Scree! Yes, yeah, Scree indeed. Good for you with your Scree, whatever that is. Yeah, they're really telling you hard about focusing on particular Pokemon. But yeah, if you ever play Pokemon Scar Scarlet and Violet, well, I was going to say you're missing out, but then again, if the performance issues really would bug you that much, I can see them doing so. Then, yeah, I could, you know, see reason as to why you wouldn't want to get involved in it. It is a very unfortunate situation that Pokemon's been put in because of a lack of real development time being granted to them. Pokemon Company needs to go on a set schedule for their whole multimedia thing. It sucks. Well, we found dark places too. That's what a dust ball can do the trick. Here's one for you. A dust ball? Well, then what do I do, I guess? Dust ball works well at night or a cave. Plus, it's named excellent. The dust ball. Dusk. Um, sure, man. The trainers train themselves on their Pokemon in the Dream Yard. What do I think about going there? Could be you'll find something. I bet so. Dream Yard ahead, a place for novice traders. I'll think about it. Well, either way, I should probably go here at Trainer School. First of all, Pokemon Knowledge. May as well go check it out. Damn, there's a lot of people here. Then again, they're all here to learn. Because they're all stupid. The Trainer School exists to meet the demands of trainers who want to know more about Pokemon because they love them. I bet it is. Well, they have mysterious powers called abilities. At least they have a variety of effects. And many of them have effects. Those effects are activated when Pokemon are in battle. All right, I should probably show you some of the Pokemon abilities. I didn't even think about that. So, we always go to the summary and look at all of our Pokemon stuff. For example, we have the... What's the ability for Tepic here? Oh, ability is Blaze! You can see up on the top screen. How is a Fire-type moves in a pinch? And now I gotta look at the others. Little Pup, Final Spirit! Prevents the Pokemon from falling asleep. And we have Pat Rat with a keen eye! Red's other Pokemon for lowering accuracy. I'm glad they tell you detail the ability does. 
and unburned for Purloin. Raise the speed of a held item is used. Huh. That's neat. Got a standard ability for my friggin' barbecue, though. It'll definitely blaze, all right. 420 blaze it. Heh. <laughs> I hope we'll get that deed. Oh, I have mysterious powers called abilities. I already told you this, but you completely ignored me. God damn it! So this is gonna be tough with TMs. You have to use over and over, so you might want to use them a lot. Yeah, that's another big thing this game did. TMs are now infinite use until Gen 8 and 9. But yep, once you get a TM, it's like an HM. You can use it over and over. You can overwrite moves as much as you want with those TMs. It's wonderful. You don't like the move you taught, you can always use a different TM. They upgrade TM so much in this game. It's beautiful. This thing lets you cancel evolution. I'll read the book about it to you. Are you ready? You need to surprise a Pokemon and stop its evolution by pressing the B button when a Pokemon is evolving. Yeah, that's good to know. Oh, yeah, I can run. Did I take a quiz about status conditions? Nah, come tell me you want a quiz. May as well read this. My board explains what about status changes in battle. What would you like to read about? Time to formally go over all this because I do it every time. May as well. Look, it poisons us. Pokemon suddenly lose HP when battling. Poison lingers after the battle. Cure is an antidote. Okay, what about paralysis? Reduce the speed stat and may prevent movement. Remains after battle, so use a paralyzed heal. We got sleep. If Bob falls asleep, it will be unable to attack. Or it may wake up on its own, but if the battle ends while it's sleeping, it will stay asleep. Wake it up using an awakening. Now, let's get it to realize its purpose in life. A bird! A bird is the attack stat and sailor reduces the victim HP. Bird lingers after battle. Cure a bird using a bird heal. You really should not let him get close to those guys who really know how to rap. Oh, jeez. And frozen! The most broken one, usually! If a Pokemon is frozen, it becomes completely helpless. Pokemon may fly out on its own, but if a battle ends while it's frozen, it will stay frozen. Oh, not using an ice heal. Yep, it gets so stunned, it actually freezes itself in a block of ice. I don't even know if anyone can do that. Let's take a quiz on status conditions while I'm here. So here's the question. With the volume, it's cures poison. Paralyze heal, please. Too bad, it's incorrect. Please try again sometime. All right, fine. I just wanted to fuck with you. It's answer note. Ding, ding, ding. And answer now for the next question. The item that cures paralysis is paralyze heal, but which of all wakes up a sleeping Pokemon? Paralyze heal us both. <laughs> Clearly. Ding, ding, we have a winner. Fantastic answer. You know so much about status conditions, I'll give you this. Ooh, full heal. Heal any status condition. The best kind of status healing item. Full heal does exactly what the name suggests. Heals all status conditions, but not HP for some reason. That's what full restore is for. The Pokemon is poison. Deep being increased while it's bad. Hey, bro. Have you been looking for the gym leader? Not really. Nothing proves your skills and treat like real battles. That's why challenging gym leaders is great practice. By the way, bro, we have a battle with me. I want to test how important items are in battles. Sure. Well, let's see how big my items are. Maybe I should test how well I can battle out items. Anyway, this is an indoor match, so let's battle without getting too rough. Yup, and just for coming to the trainer school, we'll learn about battle conditions. We have to battle your rival again. Damn it, I wanted to end the episode, but whatever. I guess this will work. Fine. Oh, he goes to the freaking starter right away. Damn it, you know, I had a feeling like I probably should have gone to heal at the Pokemon Center. But I might be okay. I am at level 11. Well, if he uses Water Gun, I'm in trouble. Oh, no! Eh! Moves I never miss, and moves I can attack first. I'm sure a lot of different moves. Yes, you're learning a lot very quickly. Purloin, you have decent special defense. Get in there! Help! Help! I do not want my friggin' special little guy losing to... I don't want Barbecue losing to this friggin' thing. Now scratch that thing! Oh, you're actually focusing on lower defense for Pokemon you'll kill in the next turn anyway. I'm glad you're designed to be stupid. It makes things easy for me. Ow! He says as he falls in battle. No! If I lose, I'm gonna feel bad. I feel like I'm gonna lose, though. Well, I do have another idea. I do intend on only trading barbecue. So I will heal him in the background. Wow, we fight! So glad you're so focused on lowering our friggin' defense while we fight. Even though you can probably kill him one hit anyway. Bro, you can't focus too much on it. The whole point is to lower your, their stats efficiently so you can actually... Uh -oh. Damn, that Warberry here will heal a lot more than I thought it would. Ow! Yeah, by the way, Sharon's always going to be tougher than Bianca. He, because he actually knows what he's doing. 
So yeah, just a nice warning for you. He's actually competent on like Bianca. Now, I guess the AI, the Freighter AI in this game is probably better. It seems like I actually know what they're doing. At least for the most part they do. I can't believe you had Orange Berry up your sleeve this whole time. You son of a bitch. Fine, I'll will you down slowly. Ow! There. As long as you don't get a critical hit, freaking barbecue should be fine. Do it! Win this battle for me! I'm down my last Pokemon. What did I do other than win? Yes, that's right! Okay, maybe AI is not as competent as I thought. I don't know what happens if I lose, but I don't want to take the chances. There's a battle I can skip over if I lose, I'd be very upset about it. Let's go on my way to beat you. So, bring out your Pearloid. Yep. I should have figured you'd have that. You pretty cheese, bitch. I even pulled that a And you had an Orin Berry on your frickin' Oshawott, which is not cool if you ask me. Ow! He only trained the team, too, unlike me. He's already making better progress than I. I need... I only need one Pokemon. If I do one Pokemon run, it's only gonna be Barbecue. Yep. I play only going to the game with one Pokemon. It can be bad for the older games, but not the newer ones. I see. Well, you means that I still have a lot to learn. Now, yeah, that's what balancing will do. Make it so you do need to have a whole team. You can't just go with one Pokemon like Magikarp. <laughs> Magikarp. To learn to use items well is really important, then. Okay, here. Oh, here, bro. I'll give you these berries. Yay! Orange berries! Good thing I have early in the game. Remember, hold items. If you give a Pokemon this kind of berry to hold, it will eat up to heal. When it's kill up when its HP goes down in battle. When you get Pokemon Nami and I as opposed to old, they can't use them. They're stupid. Well, good luck, then. It's like they're animals. Well, thanks, I guess. Okay. Well, it doesn't seem like the uh, gym leaders are here, so I'm just gonna leave. Thanks for nothing. God damn it. Oh, now the gym leader. Somebody else is there, at least. I think it's the gym leader. We'll worry about that later. So, we got to learn about status conditions, and we battled both our rivals again. But not both of them twice already. God damn. They give you a lot of rival battles in this game, which I do appreciate. Then, more opportunities for battle for me is usually a good thing. So, come back next time. I guess we'll heal up, which I should probably consider this. Eh, we do have to talk to everybody in the Pokemon Center. We'll go talk to everybody in the Pokemon Center, heal up, and I guess we'll try to crack the gym leader? It is a restaurant, right? And that dude does look like a chef. I'll admit, though, he does look kind of stupid. The hair color, man, come on. You should at least be trying to be a high-class restaurant, not one that looks like it's made for kids! Ugh, it's like a McDonald's all over again. 